Hi, it's Faceless Tech. I dug out my old action cam the other day. This is a clone of uh, SJ4000 action cam. And uh, the battery had gone bad in it. Well, the battery, battery that was in it was bad, and the batteries before it had really bad battery life. Uh, the batteries are quite expensive. Well, they're not quite expensive. They're probably about £6. But they're like proprietary little, basically a um, pouch cell in a special case with a specific circuit board attached to it <clears throat> so I've uh, kind of been thinking why don't I use a 14500 battery which is a double A size battery but a lithium uh, battery and make a case for it so that it'll uh, sit outside of the camera so what I did was took the original battery apart took the circuit board out of it and 3D printed a case to accept this because it has basically, I don't know if you can see in there, but it has little prongs and these um, basically meet onto them like a male and female uh, arrangement. Um, but I did do it, but these were too uh, finicky, like any other slight little bump or knock, and they'd disconnect and the camera would reboot. Um, so after a bit of more looking about, I figured that you could actually use uh, out of a a male pin header, uh, similar to so this one here. Basically, took the so what it has is like a like a fork arrangement, like them. I just took them out, modelled them uh, like a holder from, slightly bent them in, so they'll have a good pinch on the connectors, and they work really well. Um, next up, I had been modelled a case for an 18650 battery, and then I made one for a 14500. Took that. Uh, these just have basic uh, a spring and a little dome section. I use these same ones, they're just for like a double A, but you can use them in the 18651, or you can make them into a, a triple A. I'm not sure what size that is. It's like 11 something, 11 something. Um, you, get, you can just put them in, but I mounted them at the side, unlike these, which just come out the top. I mounted these to come out the side, and then modelled a bit of a uh, case and then this thickness basically wedges the battery uh, wedges into the battery case which way do they go up that way and just slot in but this also makes it really good because when you're out and about you could have loads of these batteries and you can just hot swap them pretty instantly and It does, it can be a little bit finicky if you take it out and put it back in. But there you go, it does boot. It does boot up. Uh, originally, I was going to have this one, which had a neon demium magnet in it, which could be quite cool to basically stick it to stuff. And then I thought I could make like mounts for things with just a screw in it just to make it so that the magnet would always be in this because this, you just have one magnet then and then screws in the other part but it was just a massive failure it just did not have enough uh, sticking force magnetic force to hold it on and then I was um, and arm about something else and then someone pointed out um, using um, GoPro camera mount what this is so I basically modelled one that I had put the screw in that in it and then you can mount it which I mounted one to uh, my hand clappers, just mount it. So then you can basically just print this out, which is just 100% plastic. And then obviously you've got the screw and that on there, so that makes it even cheaper again. Because you just have loads of anything you want to attach to, you just attach to the 100% plastic part, and they just go together. You can just use, I think these are M5 screws. So I've actually ordered some nuts and bolts to make my own ones. These are just out of uh, the Action Cam kit that comes with it. But I've made uh, gonna make my own, so it's gonna be even cheaper again. But yeah, as usual, the uh, design files will be uh, in the description below with a bit of a blog post explaining the rest of it. Yeah, it's quite easy um, to print. It's all printed without support. It's all uh, quite easily doable. I think it's about an hour and something, an hour and a half. So you could have multiple of the, multiples of these if you have multiple cameras. I'm not sure how um, many other cameras have the exact same. Uh, battery bay to them 
Um, the, only, the only downside is I haven't actually got battery protection on these, so but I do actually charge the batteries separately. You can actually still charge them through the camera, but obviously without the battery protection it's a bit dangerous, you know, caveats and all that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.